What are his feelings for you? And what is he not saying to you? Hi, beautiful soul. I'm Mystic Mia Moshe, and thank you for being here, mostly in the moment with me, for another love pick a card reading. We're looking at his feelings for you now, what he's not saying to you, and why. We start the piles with a quick overview of the energies and the connection. Will I ask Spirit to just kind of bring in anything, any small details or clue that will let you know if that pile is for you? Not everyone needs confirmation of the pile they pick. Most people don't. But I felt that for this particular prompt, questions for the reading, that it would be helpful. So that is also at the beginning of each reading. I just finished the readings and I did notice a discrepancy of the type of energies that came through in the readings. There are very high vibrational, highly spiritual readings, but also very down to earth, more physical 3D energies and that's perfectly fine. It just goes to show that this reading is probably going to a wider audience and with that comes a lot of folks that do not know me yet and so I'll let you know I'll have to keep explaining myself something I'm learning that you have to do when you get a lot of new folks on your channel you just have to continuously explain who you are and what kind of work that you do because I definitely know that I'm not your typical tarot card reader and so if you know you know and with that I hope you enjoy the reading and I wish you much love and light Hi, beautiful pile one with the red calcite. We're looking at his feelings for you and what he is not telling you. So we're going to start with a quick situation, your current situation, or I'm asking spirit to bring through anything to let you know that this is your pile. Not everyone needs confirmation, but I feel like in this situation with this prompt today, we'll get, we'll get some extra clues for you. Okay, the strength card. Okay, so um, I'm getting Jekyll and Hyde a little bit, like you get to see their kind of more serious, fierce side, and their gentle and loving side, so I feel like you're watching him become, like, like be two people, like one person when he's around you, and one person when he's like out in the world, um, and this could be just him or just you or both of you are noticing and noticing this in each other like that you two are very very different when you're with each other you're very nurturing and caring and loving and gentle and you know more sensitive and vulnerable but you you both are so fierce and I'm getting like more um type a or or at least you um you have like a persona that you put on with the rest of the world it's not really a persona it's kind of just like you're a tough person you're very serious you're direct you get things done and you are very very rarely uh let your guard down and show people your true authentic self um and i feel like this applies to him you or both of you and you notice that you're you do that with each other like you notice very much when you're out and about with him that you two act differently when you're in public settings versus when you're in intimate um private settings um nine of wands in reverse okay and i'm getting this is like important because this is kind of like in the connection between you and him right now because it's coming uh like the connection is like changing i feel like for most of you it's leveling up and you both have put in a lot of work to kind of take the time to get to know each other to make sure that like I'm hearing one of you like make sure we get along with my kids make sure that our schedules are good like both of you are kind of past the point of like you know giving anyone a chance that isn't going to be a long-term romantic contender like someone who's going to be marriage material or long-term serious relationship like you're past the point of just like dating for the thrill of it you're like looking for someone who's going to be like definitely compatible definitely someone you can work through issues with you know problem solve with you know go through conflict re resolution like you know how each other you both work and you both recognize that you're kinder and gentler with each other and like can power through with the world um 
there's some sort of magic here and it's important because both of you are kind of getting to the point where you know this is the one or that you're going to level up the connection or change something significant in the connection like you're ready to take on more okay so that is how you know this this reading is for you okay so how is he feeling about you confidence yeah see he has this really cool confidence that like yeah this is my girl this is my woman this is going to be you know the mother of my children this is going to be the person i treat the best the person i look out for my number one priority in life the one i'm going to make sure that is is you know always on top of her game you know she takes care of me i'm going to take care of her even 10 times more like they're super uber confident like and i feel like I feel like for some reason both of you needed like super super confirmation that this person is like the one and I feel like both of you knew it from the beginning but you just because of past situations or something like I don't know something that you heard of or something I don't know like both of you have some sort of um either situations in the past or some sort of fear because of like someone you know of that like really got like like blindsided you know those like murder mysteries like you know like she never knew that her husband was like you know a psychopath like that kind of story like there's some sort of deep set in fear bec because of some past life stuff or like someone like you know like a good friend of yours or a sibling or something like that actually had one of those like nightmare scenarios with their you know partners or um because just of like past relationships that just like you know you thought it was the one and you kind of rushed into it and then found out later or something like that um and the thing is both of you are so level-headed and know who you are and so strong because of it because of your experiences now um but you just wanted to be absolutely sure like both of you kind of probably knew in the beginning too okay six of cups how cute yeah i feel like I don't know why she's in the water every time I see the six of cups. Um, I'm getting mermaid vibes. Um, it's kind of like, you know when you find like that unicorn, that mermaid, that like mystical creature, you're like, this is, this is the one. Like they see you in that like mystical, mysterious, otherworldly way. And that's how you know, like that's how I'm getting like, when you two are together, like both of you know and understand that you are only like that with your person, like no one else, like not even like close family members or their friends or like you know, co-workers or even, like, childhood friends or exes. Like, it's, it's just, like, it's just you that they are this way. And that's how they know. Like, you know, like, you're, you're their, like, mermaid that they found. And so your person is, like, really absolutely sure you're the one. Like, they probably, they knew it from, like, day one or, like, pretty, like, pretty soon after they met you or reconnected with you or whatever. Um, but they, they were just kind of, they kind of enjoyed, I'm getting, like, getting, like, a hundred confirmations. Like, I don't know, like, they, they didn't need a hundred confirmations, but they are very happy that they did. Like, they were, it, some part of them kind of did need, like, a hundred or a thousand confirmations, but, like, they didn't think they would ever find someone who would give them that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know when you give up on love or you think like, oh yeah, I'm going to have to settle or I'm going to like, like yeah, maybe love isn't like what I think it is. Like maybe I'm over romanticizing it. Maybe I should like bring down my expectations. Like, you know, but this person definitely needed a hundred or a thousand confirmations. And like, they're so mystified that they actually like amazed um, that they actually find, found someone who gave them that. Like they were not expecting that at all. Okay, so what is something they are not saying to you? I lie awake thinking about our future. Oh, how cute. Okay, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so not only do they think about the, your future together, but they really badly want to tell you. Um, they just haven't been. 
Oh, that's so that's so sad because I think you would really like that, and I like love the four and the four from the emperor. Um, yeah, this person like you know like a good good sign from a guy that he's interested in you and serious about things is that like you know he tells you that he you know likes you is interested in you you know compliments and whatever all the love language stuff, but also that he's planning a future with you. Like, those are two big signs that, like, yeah, this person is the right one, right? So, um, it's, it's sad that, it's like, he has all these, like, ideas about the future and he daydreams about it a lot and thinks about it very, very often, but it hasn't been telling you. Okay, let's look into why. That's interesting. You're so different, but that's why I love you. Yes, see? You are a mermaid. You're, like, a unicorn, a mystical creature. Like, you're so, um... You're like that perfect etheric angel that like literally dropped into their life. Um, they're like, they know they'll never find anyone like you. You're one of a kind. And, and if you um, also decided to be with them, they must have some of those qualities as well. But it's, it's, it's interesting that they're finding you to be different. But they don't find themselves to be. I think I think what it is is that like. They know they're slightly different. But they don't let it on as much. You as a more feminine energy. Definitely. Um, be, if you're more okay with who you are. You're more okay to flaunt. You're more kind of authentic energies. You're. Your little, you know, quirks and, and you know, weirdness or, you know, your flaunt your unusual interests, be more okay with being, you know, you. Um, and so it makes them feel, like, okay to do that too because I feel like as, as a more masculine energy, like, they need the feminine energy to be, like, like, they will accept you and your, like, differentness. But, you know, as being the guy in today's society, like, they're gonna, they're not gonna, like, let their hair down unless they're around you and they know that you're gonna accept them and all their, like, habits and stuff like that. So, you definitely, like, lead the way in that and that you, you show them it's okay to be themselves around you. And that I feel like they're only really, truly themselves, specifically around you. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so the reason that they're not telling you about um, the future yet is because I feel like there's some sort of change happening with money. I feel like they're getting some more money in or they're making some changes in regards to money. So I feel like they might be thinking about changing a job or thinking about making an investment, maybe buying a house or um, saving up for something, you know. Um, but I do see some sort of change with money positive change with money coming in so they're like waiting to tell you until they have like proof of it which um you know for some couples it's like oh it's better to be honest all the time but like especially if this is something like because i feel like whether you've been together with this person for a long time or not it feels like it's been a long time to level up like you two should have leveled up from the get-go right but you took you two took longer to level up um, then the connection needed, right? So it's it's not it's not a bad thing that they're waiting for this kind of change in money situation um, to come in. Maybe they're putting a down payment on something. Maybe they want to surprise you. They maybe they want to wait until they have enough to kind of get your opinion on something and tell you like, hey, I'm ready to buy this. Like, I want your opinion and like kind of kind of like kind of wait until they have everything together. Which is totally fine in this situation because, like, both of you, um, kind of took your time to kind of level up anyway. So, it wasn't inappropriate that they were not telling you as they were thinking about these things. They are thinking about something, like, big. <laughs> to, like, surprise you with, like, a ring or a house or, like, hey, now we can have this. Or, like, hey, I want to start creating a family or I want to start... I was thinking about moving here or I'm 
thinking about doing a job change like what do you think about like, you know before they get your like they're waiting until they could ask your opinion on something until some sort of money change happened and it's coming in right now so it's like not gonna take that long all right and then just quick spirits message for you embrace this change how cool yeah so i do feel like yeah with the sunglasses i'm getting this is a really cool change it's really positive um and it's gonna allow the both of you to kind of level up your um relationship finally um yeah, I feel like it was, like, put on pause. It's, like, why haven't we leveled up already? But both of you aren't, like, questioning it and, like, stressed out about it. Both of you are, like, oh, it'll happen when it's naturally supposed to happen. And Spirit's saying it's, like, oh, naturally happening right now. Like, it's organically, like, they're getting the money. They're going to tell you about all this, like, stuff that they've been thinking about to get your take on it, to have your input. Um, and it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's time. And a message from their higher self to you. The love in my eyes is a reflection of you. Yeah. Like, I feel like this is going to be a huge kind of, like, moment for the both of you where you recognize, like, how much they love you. And they tell you often and they tell you, like, in a lot of different ways and a lot of different love languages. But, like, when he comes to you, like, this is a big thing. When he comes to you with this um, proposition to spend this much money on something or this kind of significant monetary or material wealth change in both of your connections like it's going to show you in a very like like very romantic way it's very like it's, it's a huge grand gesture and like it's gonna mean a lot more than like a sentence like the meaning behind him offering this to you is it, it's a lot like it's everything like when if he's offering like a house or to move somewhere he's like thinking about the kids or he's thinking about the vacation he's thinking about like you know the kitchen that you wanted or the you know he, like you know he can he also thought about the furniture and he also thought about like you know what you said about the backyard or the or the, the dog or the you know what you want to be near or something like like he put a lot of thought into it and it's gonna be very very obvious when he says it and like it might be like a sentence or two but then um, when he backs it up with all the thoughts he had about like the even like the finest details, he thought about you and he thought about you very deeply and how to make you happy and what you would like and it, it's gonna sh it's gonna show you a lot. All right, it's a pile one. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you resonated with it or liked it, I really appreciate a like or comment. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light. Hi, pile two with the lapis lazuli. We're looking at his feelings for you and what he is not saying to you. So I want to start with a quick general overview of your energies. Um, this is kind of, I'm just like letting a spirit bring in anything to kind of let you know this is the pile for you. Not everyone needs confirmation to pick the right pile, but I felt for like these questions, it might be um, helpful a little bit. Okay, page of cups and in reverse. Okay. Um, I feel like you're, per you're a person, pile two. Like, he's not... He's not, like, stepping up to the plate, even for, like, small things. Like, I feel like you make it very obvious of, like, you kind of, like, laid it out for him. Like, you're like, I don't want any misunderstandings. This is what I want. This is how I feel. This is what I need from you. You, like, laid it out all in the table. And he's not even, like, making, like, a move. And I, I'm getting this kind of feeling of frustration. Yeah, when pigs fly kind of thing. And the moon card. Yeah, it's like, it's like how much more clear do I need to be? Um, I'm getting it's a, it's, it's a, it's come to the point of, fr of, of frustration now because it's like, like, how am I trying to be with someone who can't even make a move when I lay it out for them this much like am I picking someone wrong am I being the pathetic one right here like giving this person a chance over and over again like while I'm like laying out like all all the things that like he needs to do like what's what's the situation here why what's going on like I feel like you're, you've been so clear and you're kind of second guessing your this connection now because it's like okay like if I am like super clear and like not just once but many times like 
wait, am I the one like being stupid here, connecting to someone who doesn't like do anything, like doesn't make any moves when I so clearly pointed it out for them? Okay, so how does he feel about you? Um, a strength card in reverse. Yeah, he's not, he's not the courageous kind or <laughs> the brave one, at least not right now. Maybe he's just not brave in love or he's not brave with, he's just not strong in communicating his feelings. Um, but yeah, he, at, at this point I am getting like, he should have, <laughs> right? Um, the two of wands, you're kind of like wondering, like, I feel like I feel like he's wondering like if he's enough for you now because like you know how like it, at first I feel like it was good because you were communicating to him what you needed and that's like that's a sign of a healthy relationship but if you have to say it like 5, 6, 10, 20 times and he's still not doing it like he's questioning himself like if he's good enough for you like if he's good if he's good enough to be in a relationship like this do you know what i'm saying <laughs> like he's questioning if he should be in the connection and you're questioning like you you're starting to question that too because like you know you could only you know allow someone the chance so many times until they don't like step up and then you kind of have to like look inward like how much why am I giving this person so many chances right and I'm not getting anything negative here like I do feel like he has good like you know nice feelings towards you and you have nice feelings for him but he's not like doing anything um but I'm also getting that like yeah he feels he feels kind of guilty and he kill, find it kind of feels like it's been too long in this energy. Um, and so he's starting to question if he's worthy of this connection or will ever, ever be able to turn this connection around. Like, you know, it's oof. Okay. So let's look at something he is not saying to you. Let me have you. Yeah. I feel like this person wants you without having to do any of the work. Um, or like, he's just kind of like, it's a little bit of like a childlike feeling. Like, oh, give me everything without like letting me have, like having me like be an adult in this con connection, like being emotionally mature and doing the right thing. Like, just let, just let me have you. Just let me, let me pass by on this one. Um... So they do this, yes, they really do want you. And that's why they're not like leaving the connection either because they're like, I'll keep being with you as long as you keep having me. Even when I'm not doing anything that you're telling me to do. You know that, you know what I'm saying? Like they'll continue being with you as long as you have them, even without doing any of the work. Okay. Yeah, two, look at that, two of wands, two of swords. Yeah, this connection is not, it's, it's not going anywhere. It's at a standstill. Maybe there was a little bit of movement in the beginning, but there is like no movement now. And I feel like you've done as much as you could. With the, with your feminine energy and the moon card reverse, it's like you're explaining it on like a third grade level. Like you're explaining it to them as if they're a child at this point and you're it's like it's like you're becoming like their mother or you're becoming their like counselor or like something about that like it's it's I'm getting a little bit like a little frustration a little annoyance but not so much because you're so sick and tired and done with this or something like that it's not a bad connection in terms of compatibility or likability like both of you obviously like each other but they are very emotionally mature and they're coming against someone you beautiful soul that is very emotionally mature and it's a very there's a mismatch on that level like a hundred percent it's this has has been at a standstill for however long this connection has been going on 
and it's not because of you for sure but like what are you gonna do yell at them more like they're not gonna they're not gonna change okay so like why aren't they telling you that they just want you without doing any of the work I have an offer for you okay so be careful because I feel like this is a person who will only give you enough to keep you on and then have to go through this whole cycle again it, it's going to be very frustrating for you if you continue with this person and they're not giving you any real effort um the full card yes yeah, see they want this to this to begin again and you can but it's going to be a false start because it's going to be like the same thing over again so like it's up to you like you know, we all learn our lessons in relationships by going through them. Um, but if you've had enough of this in this connection or in past connections or, you know, whatever, like you're going to be able to see this connection from a higher perspective and be like, okay, like what is that? Um, there's a saying about like, you, um, like connect, uh, the love connection needs to have love and light because just with just love, you're just going to keep repeating the same things with light, which is wisdom. You learn and grow, you know? And so I feel like you're getting a lot of light and clarity and using your wisdom from what you've learned so far that this person is, you know, is playing a game with you a little bit, you know, whether they know it or not. If they know it, then they're smart enough that they know it and they're not a good person if they don't know it they're too dumb enough and maybe maybe a little bit too immature for you so um either way like they're gonna they're gonna try to reel you back in with an offer but you're gonna you're gonna quickly see that this, this is just a repeating cycle okay so what does spirit want to say to you beautiful soul shift your focus yeah if you don't know what to do and you know you've been with this person for a very long time but it's just kind of like i'm getting three day rule i don't know if you've heard of that but it's just like kind of like don't give them anything for three days <laughs> focus on other things for three days and then see what they come up with um i'm getting even seven days like give like give this connection like like a week or two and if they haven't like got the hint by then then i don't you know they're probably never going to get that hint maybe a month or two at most if you've been with this person for a very long time and they have shown it before but if not like i think you know it's time to time to give that energy back to you and things that actually serve you okay and then they're a message from their higher self Meet me on the bridge of the heart. Yeah, I feel like they want you to, they're like, meet me halfway, right? But like, they're not going halfway. They're going like 5% of the way and you're the one who's always been going 95% of the way. You know what I'm saying? And they think they're doing half, they're doing like half the work. Either they, they know that they're not and they're lying or they're too emotionally immature to realize that they're not doing, meeting you halfway, right? So, I mean, do what you will with that information pile too, but I hope this is like more like an enlightening and this is coming to you with a lot of love and light and that you, like, you know, a lot of us have been in this situation, right? With like people that you've just kind of casually dated, but even with like serious contenders, right? Like this is just kind of like sometimes the universe bringing in, like asking you like, what are you going to put up with? You know, what are you willing to put up with? When are you going to, like, value yourself? Like, what's the value you put on yourself now versus back then? You know, when you first met this person or, um, you know, maybe in, in the past relationships. Like, what's your value now? Like, maybe, like, it's time to do some review work or something. But, yeah, I hope you um, resonate with this reading. Uh, if you like this reading, I would really appreciate a like or comment. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. And I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile three, the blue Argonite. We're looking at his feelings for you and what he is not telling you. 
So I'm going to start with like the general energy or like I'm just asking spirit to kind of bring through anything to let you know that this might be a pile. Not everyone needs confirmations, but I thought for today's reading, it could be helpful. Okay, so let's start with that. Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is something like new. So this is like something that's just getting started or something where they just gave you the offer or about to give you the offer or um, this is like just starting something new in the connection. It's very exciting. Both of you are like um, really feeling the energy rating off of this new opportunity and the connection. Um, it's, both, it's really making both of your hearts glow. Both of you are kind of like a little bit excited but calmly excited. Um, and this is, this is like fresh, new, brand new kind of opportunity. Um, no matter how long you've been in this connection, or if this is like you're not even in a relationship yet, like it doesn't matter. It's just like it's just like a brand new energy and love in this connection. Six of Swords. Okay, so this could be um, excitement over traveling together. Maybe you're looking forward to a trip. Maybe you're finally getting to see each other after being long distance for a while, or after being away from each other for a while. Uh, maybe you two are moving in together, or moving to a different location, a different home. Or th those kinds of conversations have just started, you know? Um, for a very few of you, because I do highly spiritual reading, I am getting, like, the two of you um, going on, like, a like a vision quest together or doing some sort of spiritual work together. Um, but that's for, like, a very few of you. Um, yeah, so this, there's, like, subtle, there's excitement here, subtle excitement. Both of you are trying to, like, not to get too too excited about it but like calmly like the energy is definitely building and both of you are like you know um giddy excited okay so how do they feel about you happiness yeah see that's so cute i love the red heart here and the red happiness like it's it kind of shows like they're smiling a lot you both are giggling laughing enjoying each other's company and conversations talking about future talking about the current moment um it, it's a lot of uh like honeymoon type feelings but like it doesn't matter if you've been in this connection for a long time or not like this energy is back in here um and both of you can feel the excitement can, can feel like the, the the change in the air like um i'm, I'm getting like humidity <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting like both of you are like realizing that things can probably manifest very quickly between the two of you now so um there's like this like excitement electricity in the air both of you are really happy kind of there's a lot of trust here i'm getting the king of wands love it okay so i do feel like um they're bringing in a lot of ideas they're happy that you're you're collaborating with them that you're bringing in a lot of your ideas I'm getting a lot of conversations about the future and now like you two are planning things like crazy hanging out like crazy um let's hang out tonight let's have dinner tonight let's like what are you doing this weekend you know um you know um I I you know I was thinking about going on this trip in a couple of weeks or a couple of months like would you want to come with you want to like oh do, I've always wanted to do this so what, what would you go on to go if you wanted to take like a weekend day trip um, oh, you like that? I like this. Like, how about something like this? It's kind of in the middle. Um, so many ideas and not just like about traveling, but that is like a huge chunk of it. Something about moving, tra um, traveling, something at a distance, but also something with, um, and like, it's, uh, it's like in the moment and in the future. So both of you are love, are planning like crazy. Like, what are we doing today? And then also, what are we doing in two months? Like, you know, five months from now, all this, we have to do this next year when they, when they come back around or, um, this festival or this conference or the, you know, like, let's go, um, you know, we, we, we should, let's go to like this museum and then like, oh yeah, maybe, um, they're, they're doing this exhibit next month. Like maybe we should go there after, you know, like next month too, like planning a lot of stuff now, planning a lot of stuff in the future. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of talking, a lot of just, being in the moment, just letting ideas come through, getting really excited. But there is this energy of um, knowing, like planning for like more substantial things in the connection as well. 
like as like as you're planning kind of dates and vacations and stuff like that or possible dates and vacations there's like sneaking in a little bit of like oh what kind of house do you like or what kind of like you know neighborhood would you want to live in or you know I've always imagined living in this kind of area like it'd be kind of cool to go there for a day trip just to like get that energy or something like that like um both of you like that you're hinting at something more long term and that you're you know hinting like you're getting a, a feel for what the connection is going to be like just by like the the things that you bring up are your interests and their interests like you can see yourselves doing these things now and in the future okay so what is something they are not telling you yeah nah <laughs> okay um if there's any ideas that you're bringing up that they're not like 100 percent like sold on they're not telling you right now obviously they want to be on your good terms they want to encourage all your ideas they don't want to shut any ideas down they want to keep like the fun times rolling yeah look at that two sixes because there's a lot of harmony here two sixes harmony harmony um in the physical the swords and the wands are both very spiritual cards so yeah harmony spiritually so like they're like they're kind of actually like ideas that they would have been opposed to in the past like that they would have totally passed on and would have been like oh i don't know if we're a good match if like they like this this kind of stuff like i'm not really into that they're actually entertaining now and they're like okay you know maybe maybe i could own some chickens or maybe i could um live in an area like this like you know so like things that ideas that they were opposed to like completely before they're actually open to with you um, and they're seeing like different sides of these hobbies, activities, um, options, decisions, um, because it, they feel successful with you. They feel like maybe they've been shutting down these ideas in the past because they didn't like who they were doing it with, whether it was like a romantic um, person or um, friends or whatever, like they're like oh maybe I didn't like I don't mind doing it with you maybe it's because I didn't like who I was doing it with maybe I wasn't with the people with the right attitude or who actually you know was excited about this or you know had the right attitude right attitude for it like you know people who kind of just do things because it's trendy or because it's like you know they want to seem like they're this like outgoing person who tries new things or you know like you're not afraid to kind of stand up for what you actually like and I don't know there's some sort of authenticity that they see in you that makes them excited to do these things that they were initially closed off to um wow oh. okay so why are they not telling you about these ideas because like i feel like they thought they wouldn't like it But you've opened them up and I, I feel like it's because they see that this, this connection is so successful. Like, it was it was the people that they were thinking about doing these activities with that didn't, you know, that turned them off to that idea. I do talk about you. I do think um, the reason that they're not telling you that they... Um, didn't really like these ideas before or they never really entertained them or they were kind of closed off to them before is because they were around a lot of closed-minded people or people who are really not authentic or people who just were not someone they would do these things with um and so I feel like they're they're talking to their friends and co-workers and stuff about like I don't know, like, for example, if you're, like, really into, like, homesteading and they're, like, uh, never, you know, in my life would I do that, they're, like, oh, they're talking to their co-worker and it's, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, like, Pile 3 was talking about, like, you know, growing these kinds of vegetables and, like, you know, it seems, like, so, like, fun to kind of figure out, like, how I'm going to bring this irrigation system in, like, something like that, like, where they're, like, getting inspired by you and into it because of you. And I feel like even their coworkers and friends are like, who is this person? Like, what did Pile 3 do to them? Like, they're so different now. 
I do feel like your person might not realize it yet, but they're going through um, like this change in becoming a more authentic version of themselves. So I think you're gonna have to be like, you know, watch out for the fact that they might like start losing friends and finding out that there are some people who um, aren't really there for their highest and best good in their life, like shutting away. You're, you're kind of um, sparked this true authentic energy in them and their life is going to change because of that. Um, and they might not know it yet. The lovers, aw. So the lovers upright is like making a decision in love. And for me, the lovers um, in reverse is always made, it was always meant like they made a decision in love in a really grand way. So I do feel like they kind of chose you. They, they pick you as their person. But it's still kind of like early on. So they, they don't want to scare you away by like kind of, coming on too strongly so they're talking to talking about you to like everyone that they know they can't shut up about you pile three um and with a lot of this like there's a lot of beautiful energy here the things that they might say about you is that you're really like really not afraid to be who you are there's so much freedom it feels like you have so much freedom in your life um, you're really inspirational. You got to get them excited for a lot of things. They, they find you attractive, but they find you like just like there's something special here from the get-go. And they feel like you're the one, but they're like, and they're super excited about it, but like they don't want to like scare you off. So they're like releasing that energy of excitement to their friends rather than you. And that's why they're not like, over communicating with you because they don't want to scare you off which I think you'd be okay with but just knowing that they're really excited to talk to you and to be with you and they feel like you're the one like they they know they're gonna have to like ease up on that energy right now and they probably will you probably will see them opening up more and more um in the near future okay so what does spirit want to say to you vibes never lie yet like automatically immediately there is a strong divine like highly compatible vibe between the two of you um and i'm getting like you two are getting excited but you try not to like get like try to like let yourself get too excited maybe because of energies being let feeling like you were let down when you felt these energies before but I again I feel like a really calm excitement it's, it's I kept getting like calm excitement calm excitement like keeping things in check you know just making sure this connection goes off without a hitch you don't want this person you don't want the opportunity to pass you by on this person both ways so both of you are feeling that um but both of you feel it like really exciting like this could this could be the one this this feels like the one like I, I'm pretty sure I'm absolutely sure but you know I'm gonna play the part of like normal interactions in the beginning of a connection or in the beginning of a new opportunity so like you know I don't accidentally scare them off but I'm also getting like don't worry like they will be their full true self with you and you them and you'll have like those like fun excited conversations with each other more rather than them telling other people but like i think th i think that they need to do that because they need to show other people around them like their friends and family and whoever like coworkers, whatever that they're a changed person and that they're gonna have to either like meet them at his level or like move along because no one's gonna be more important to him than you and they people need to get that vibe from him you know so it's, it's it's okay that he's just talking to other people a lot about you right now instead of like directly to you it's just kind of like you know how we grew up in this this society where it's just like you know it can come off too strong and that's like a bad thing for some people i could see how that can be like 
crazy like if it's a psychopath but like for most people like it's it's bizarre that that scares people away you know because we're all just like really um under evolved in our emotions or yeah and what does his higher self want to say to you i'm afraid you've moved on no i'm getting he is getting scared that you will move on like that's a natural fear especially if you find someone that you really really like like this like it's natural to have be scared that you're gonna this person's gonna move on that they're gonna be too much for you they're really playing it cool they're extremely happy you two can feel there's a vibe here um he might not have as much relationship experience um but there is it, there is good energy here and there does feel like um he's taking the proper precautions to make sure that that this absolutely works out all right pile three so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did i really appreciate a like or comment and with that i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light hi beautiful pile four for the pyrite we're looking at his feelings for you and then what is he not telling you so we're going to do a quick you know card pull on just the energy so you can know if this pile is for you or not. I'm asking Spirit literally to just bring anything through that will let you know this is your pile. Most people don't need confirmations, but I feel like for this reading, like it might, it could only help. So what is the vibe of this energy? Wow, two of cups, okay. This is a really strong, loving connection. It's very divine. You two are both in your authentic energies. Both of you are, you know, know what you want and then and have it in terms of a relationship this is a really steady strong connection and going strong in the physical too right now okay death card in reverse yeah i feel like both of you kind of were already tested in your relationship you both have kind of passed and now like and now it's like either this transformation into this beautiful harmonious romantic relationship is starting now after this tumultuous time of change and transformation um or um that has already ended the change and transformation and the death of the old has already happened and you two are already in the two of cups energy but yeah very very strong and beautiful energies for this connection it seems like you two are going strong um and uh yeah that will let you know that this is the pile for you let's see how he is feeling about you success yeah in reverse so like i feel like yeah i feel like for most of you you already conquered whatever this change and transformation that needed to happen in the connection maybe it was um independently and now you two are coming together in a kind of a reunion um whether you were in a relationship while doing that or just in little to no communication it doesn't matter i feel like you two kind of had to go through a major transformation um and coming back in harmonious union and so we have the success energy so like i feel like the success is already there because like the success was in the inner work that you put in and now you get to see the magnificent physical manifestations of your hard work and of your partner's hard work as well <gasps> the lover's card oh that's so cute yeah this is these are very very powerful cards we have the death card and now we have the lover's card success two of cups or successful romantic relationship um wow 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 okay so this is a very very strong uh good connection it's a divine counterpart connection like a high level soulmate or twin flames or whatever you want to call it um it's a it's a high level soulmate connection and so i'm getting that this death card right being right next to the lover's card you two literally had to make immense amount of change spiritually mentally emotionally physically to have a love like this and both of you are kind of fine like like it's like you survived you've got through it you got to the light at the end of the tunnel and you're finally feeling the sun on your face for the first time and it's like 
you can breathe again and this is now you get to enjoy what you all worked for like this is what it was all for and this is like beautiful harmony um harmonious union and um, partnership that is going to be like like a game changer it's going to change the world your both of your energies together um not even having to do anything you don't need a soul mission or life purpose just you two being together and on this planet is amplifying the light and love like a thousandfold so like like or even more ten thousandfold like it's like it's like this needed to happen but not everyone would be willing to do that kind of work that both of you did to get here okay so um what is something he is not saying to you i hope you'll wait for me okay so i'm getting this was like in the past like he didn't want to put any attachments in this connection because it wouldn't have allowed you to do the kind of work required to get to where you are and he also you know was guided he might not know this but subconsciously through his guides through his uh, spirit team to kind of let go of you like that's that's probably came that was probably the biggest thing that he had to do and you had to do was to kind of let them go um and that's a very hard thing to do when you meet a soulmate level connection on this level um and so they didn't tell you that that you know wait for me they didn't say that they left they didn't even speak to you they didn't give you anything not even breadcrumbs maybe sometimes here and there but for most no um you had no idea what was going on maybe they, they even disconnected it from you energetically you had to literally let them go and it didn't it did, it's not just a one-time thing it probably was months or years worth worth of letting like cycles of letting them go you know coming up every season or you know a few times a year um to completely cut them like cut them off and let them go for real because in the back of your mind you're like if you're like if you've been on the twin flame journey or like you you believe in soulmates or something like that um you never kind of let them go like in the back of my mind you, you keep holding on to them keep holding on to them and until you absolutely completely let go of them any future you have together any expectations on your future not just with them but um of anything you're attached to it's like it's very it's not you're not going to get to this level of commitment this is a rare thing that only happens with highly spiritual folks that are meant to have that kind of hold that kind of energy in this this physical form this lifetime so um yeah, they weren't telling you to wait for you. You probably had no clue what was going on. Or, you know, most people don't really know what was going on in this journey until that part, that segment of the journey was over, right? Are you kidding me? The emperor. Yeah, and this is your divine masculine. This is your divine masculine. Wow. So funny, I got like four, four, and then four again, and then it was like four, four, four on the clock on the timer um i started this reading um and then hearing all those like motorcycles for just now i'm getting like they're coming in they have the divine masculine energies and they're coming in they're coming in they're ready they're looking cool their, their energies are cool and calm and and steady they're like i hope you didn't wait for me or I hope you I wasn't keeping you waiting. Um but when they arrive, they freaking arrive. Okay? So that's wow. So why didn't they say that? Why didn't they say like wait for me or I hope you don't wait for me or whatever? Or say anything. <laughs> well, I why didn't they say that? I do want to make things right with you. Give me that opportunity. Okay, so it's because if they came to you, they would have to kind of address everything. And they weren't ready to address everything with you yet because they hadn't 
yet address everything within themselves, you know? So, you know, with divine counterpart connections, you trigger a lot of things in the other person, right? To work on and heal and figure out and stuff. And they didn't finish doing that. So like, like if you have, if you're going to be in a connection like this, like you have to be like fully ready and fully in that energy and you can't, you can't half-ass it. Like you have to do it like fully and completely and absolutely. And so like they were never going to be coming into your energies and you theirs until both of you kind of aligned yourself that with like 5D energies. I'm getting, and now both of you are walking into 5D together because you're both ready. You couldn't live in a 3D life. You couldn't live, that, that kind of level of connection could not exist in the 3D life. And so, um, now that you're both kind of like ascending, this is crazy, <laughs> this is a crazy reading, both ascending into 5D, um, like literally walking through that door, this is, the, this is the time. This is the time where they can just like apologize for not letting you know. Okay. Four of Wands. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? 11-11, the twin flame card, the like happy marriage, happy home card. And it came out in reverse. I'm getting like your home in the 5D because you, you couldn't have a home in a 3D. Like it would never work. Both of you this high level kind of connection, you need to be mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically in a 5D energy. Otherwise you can't, you can't, you can't have this kind of high level divine connection work in the 3D. Are you kidding me? Look at the problems that we have now. I literally just saw a video on YouTube or like Jubilee or something where it's like, is it okay to cheat sometimes? Is there, is it appropriate times to cheat? And I'm just like, <laughs> like wow like I'm not even like it doesn't even phase me I'm not even gonna say anything like I'm just gonna let that pass over because it's just like that's 3d for you you know it's like it's kind of ridiculous to people who are in 5d energies and who are high, highly spiritual it's like really like there's a stark difference between those that are still 3d minded and not awake and those that are um and you pal for my dear friend my dear soul sister, soul fam, you are ready. And it's funny because you probably haven't even like thought about this. It's probably been out of your mind or you probably like kind of felt it coming, but you, you don't think about it. It's not, you're not attached anymore. You don't have any expectations. Like you're, you're super Gucci. Like you're not, you're just good with everything everything's chill like you have to be at, at that level of being okay with who you are where you are in your in your life what your 3d life was you know stepping into 5d without any wants needs or desires um like that level no attachments on anything not just your person but not like on anything any any wishes or desires like that zen that level quenching any curiosities you have about anything clearing all that healing all past trauma not living in too much in the past or future focusing on today unless the past and future is about empowering the past for your current state or um Yeah, just empowering the past or the future to give your current version of yourself power. So what does spirit have to say to you, Pile 4? Believe in the impossible. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Because at this point, you're just like, you believe in the divine. You believe in a divine plan or, you know, in source energy, the universe, whatever. So you, you already have faith and you believe in miracles, but you don't like expect anything. You don't expect it. 
You already believe in the impossible, but you're not believing in how that impossible miracle is going to come into your life. No expectations. And then lastly, a message from their higher self. Let's rebuild together. Are you kidding me? Let's rebuild our home, our relationship, our life in the 5D. I, there's nothing more. Wow. This was like a completely amazing, beautiful divine reading. Nothing more to say. If you resonated or uh, like this energy, um, I'd really, really be interested, especially for this pile, because um, then you're definitely part of my soul fam. Um, just a little quick hi. I really like it. Really appreciate it. We'll try to get back to you. But yeah, leaving a like or comment would be really appreciated. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light.